chapter 2 presentation of data exercise 2.2 that is for tabulation here the information given for the first question which is given on your page number 42 there were 1400 students studying in the commerce college among them 855 boys and of them 225 boys were in second year in the second year the number of boys and the number of girls are equal among 550 students of the first year, the proportion of the number of boys and the girls is 3 is to 2. In the third year, number of boys is 3 times of the number of girls. Represent the above information in the tabulation. Now, whenever you have to represent into the tabular form, remember to mark the information into the bracket. This is the marking. I'm just. Uh, this is just one of the example which to make you understand that go as per the bracket, the sentence, how the sentence is moving in the same way you have to complete with your tabulation. As we read the question, we found that it is given about the year of the study and the gender, boys and the girls, number of students in the college, in the commerce college. So out of this information, remember when it is given about the gender, about the boys and the girls, you have to present the table like this. The gender will be shows in such a way and the year that is first year, second year and the third year you have to show in this way. Here we can say the attributes are two things. Two things we are given that one is the year of the study and the another thing is the gender of the students. Now out of this information which is given in the textbook, first we will find out that there are 1400 students studying in the commerce college means here they are they are giving the total number of students so in this table first we'll write down the total number of students which is given is 1400 <coughs> moving to the next bracket that among them 855 were students means out of 1400 students 855 were boys and of them 225 boys were in second year so 1400 जो total number of students है उसमें से 855 तो boys ही है और 855 में से 225 students are from second year this is how the information has to be classified in table form moving to the next in the second year, the number of boys and the number of girls are equal. यानी कि आपने जितना second year में boys लिखा, उतना ही equal number of girls है in the second year. So here we can see the second year boys is already given the information is equal to the girls. So it would be 225. If we add both of them, it would be 450. जो हम total के column में लिख लें. Next, among the 550 students of the first year, the proportion number of boys and girls is 3 to 2. Now, here they have given ratio. Now, ratio will be calculated. Here they have given the first year so total number of students is 550 and boys. and girls are given in the ratio 3 to 2. Now here first we will count for the boys. When it is given a ratio means 3 plus 2 it would be total number 5. So out of 550 multiplied by 3 divided by 5 would be the number of boys and for girls 550 into 2 divided by 5 will be the number of girls. So if we calculate this number, we find 330 for the boys and 220 for girls. The same information will record in the first year that is 330 for boys and 220 for girls. The total number will be 550. Now out of this information, if we make the total, we will get the difference of this. <coughs> First, let's go with this. In the third year, number of boys is three times the number of girls. 
now represent the information in a table now if for the third year it is given that number of boys are three times than the number of girls now for this information here you i can show you that out of this information let's make the total of this two 550 plus 450 means it must be 1000 get minus with the total number 1400 if 1400 out of 1000 the remaining number is 400 so obviously in dono ko plus karke isse minus karte ho to dono ke beech ka difference hoga 400 now out of this number here first we'll write down that here the number of girls which is not given we'll assume it as a x and for the number of boys it is given that it is three times of girls so it must be 3x means 3 multiplied by x it would be 3x now here we'll make 3x plus x means boys plus girls will be the total number of 400 so 3x plus x it would be 4x is equal to 400 x is equal to 400 divided by 4 4 ones are 4 one hundred sir. so here we got the value therefore x is equal to x is equal to 100 so this 100 will write down in the column of girls of the third year that is it would be 100 and boys that is 400 minus 100 it would be 300 at the end, we'll make the total of this. It would be 545. At the end, don't forget to make the total of this column. That is it getting 1400 or not? And the same way, this total also have to be calculated. This is how you have to classify tabulation. Moving to the next question. Second question. 1600 employees are working in an office. Among these employees, the number of men exceeded the number of women by 15% of the total number of employees. The number of unmarried employees, 800 less than the number of married employees. The number of unmarried women is 197, represent the above data in the suitable table. When we read the full, formal, uh, sorry, full paragraph in this way, we would never understand that what exactly the question means. Remember, you always have to take the information that which is needable now out of this whole question we here we can see here they are talking about the gender of man and woman and their marital status now for this reason there are two attributes marital status and the gender so again for the next question here the classification is done the gender has been kept in the two separate columns that is man and the woman and marital status which i will keep here as a married and unmarried this is how we will make the table. First information given in the table is about 1600 employees are working in an office. Means total number of employees are 1600. So here I will write down 1600 as a total number of employees. Next, the number of men exceeded the number of women by 15% of total number of employees. Matlab jitne bhi employee hai, usme 15% men are more than the women. So for finding this thing that how the number of men is exceeded because there is no numbers has been given that what number ha about which number we have to remove the 15 percent but here in, it is given that 15 percent of total number of employee total number of employee question me diya hai 1600 so here i wrote the total number of employees are 1600 and i remove the 15 percent of 1600 that is 240 then get separate 240 ko 1600 se minus kar diya to bacha bhai 1360 now out of this 1360 there would be an equal distribution of boys and uh, men and the woman i made an equal ratio or you can take a divided by 2 yani ki boys or girls ko equally divide kar diya pehle 240 ko hata do 1600 se jo bacha usme se divide kar do to this one is for the boys and this one is for the girls then the 15% of 240 has been added with the boys. So here the total number of boys will be 920 and the total number of girls will be 
सिक्स एटी मीन्स अ मैन एंड द वुमन विच द क्वेश्चन इज गिवन अबाउट द मैन एंड द वुमन बाई मिस्टेक आई रोड द बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स सो यर फर्स्ट विल राइट डाउन द टोटल नंबर ऑफ मैन इज नाइन ट्वेंटी एंड टोटल नंबर ऑफ वुमन्स आर सिक्स एटी नेक्स्ट द नंबर ऑफ अनमेरिड एम्प्लॉय आर एट हंड्रेड लेस देन द नंबर ऑफ मैरिड एम्प्लॉय नव यर आई रोड द सिचुएशन दैट द नंबर ऑफ अनमेरिड एम्प्लॉय आर एट हंड्रेड लेस देन द नंबर ऑफ मैरिड एम्प्लॉय सो यर आई एज्यूम दैट सपोज द नंबर ऑफ मैरिड एम्प्लॉय वी एज्यूम एज एक्स एंड द नंबर ऑफ अनमेरिड एम्प्लॉय एज एक्स माइनस एट हंड्रेड दैट इज एट हंड्रेड लेस देन द मैरिड एम्प्लॉय सो नाउ इफ आई किप द सिचुएशन इन टू द इक्वेशन दैट इज x x that is the number of married employee plus number of unmarried employee that is x minus 800 is equal to the total number of employee that is 1600 here x plus x will become 2x and if i take this 800 at the side of 1600 it would be plus 800 So it is plus of sixteen hundred plus eight hundred. It would be two thousand four hundred. X is equal to two thousand four hundred divided by two. Here we got the answer that the married number of married employee is twelve hundred. So let's write down here the number of married employee is twelve hundred. Get them minus. You will get twelve hundred minus sixteen hundred. Four hundred are unmarried employee. Moving to the next situation. The number of unmarried woman is one hundred and ninety-five. Now, here the column married and unmarried is already given, and as per this information, the number of unmarried woman is 195 so this is what the information is given in the question now out of this information we can remove the answer this is the total number 680 so just get minus 680 with 195 you will get 485 as a married woman next this is the total of Total employee where the woman number number of woman is four hundred and eighty five. Just get minus four eighty five with the twelve hundred. You will get the number of men in the total number of employee that is seven hundred and fifteen. Next same for the unmarried. Out of four hundred one ninety five are women. So just get them minus. You will get the answer for the men. If you get minus four hundred with one ninety five, you will get the answer two hundred and five. Here, this is how we classify the employees, marital status with gender. Moving to the next question.